We did it, and all of our guys survived. We had good war chiefs. But they didn't drop any epic runes, because of course they didn't. Alright, Grim Resolve. Not great. Um, let's see. What is this? 61%? Nope. Unbreakable. Don't need it. They're live, damn it. Uh, no, no pain. 24% chance. Let's finish as it nope. started, with shadow and flame falling on the Black Gate. The Hammer and the Tar are dead. Sauron is still weak. Without the power of the One Ring or the Ringmaker, he cannot take form. He will be trapped within Mordor, no more than an Eye of Flame bound to his Dark Tower. And at last I can die, and none will avenge me. Indeed. Unfortunately, uh, we cannot be avenged. But that's okay, so I don't necessarily want to be. Those were all real bad, by the way. There was nothing there that we picked up that was worth collecting, so... Um, great. It's more fodder for us to sell. But as we uh, complete our ascent here to this tower... Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Allison Cruz. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, wow, that was very impressive. Well done, Talion. You're quite athletic, strong, agile, and uh, real beefy. But um, as we enter... Ooh, Let's finish the game with, I think, quick time events, unfortunately. Sorry, I just spoiled it. Let's just be ready for it. gift for you, Calibrimore.
Italian, my heart. We will be together soon. Forever. The Black Hand of Sauron is dead. The Hither Shore is calling us. This is no longer our battle. I tried fighting you. It can't be done. Could you really rest for all of eternity, knowing that you had the chance to stop him, but did nothing? And Shadow Mordor, I love that it constantly has to display the fact that it's the Game of the Year edition, because let's be honest, it had to be done. Also, <laughs> the amount of times that this game is on sale, like th specifically the Game of the Year edition, I think I actually bought it for $5 three years ago, and I was just like, eh, I'll play it one of these days. I kind of played through it the first time, but... I, can't, I don't really know the differences with the game of the year aside from like the other campaign, whatever that is. I have looked nothing into it, and if I do decide to do it, I like it to be blind. Um, this is more or less blind. There's really not a whole lot to prepare for in this other than just, you know, getting good and figuring out what you have to do, but otherwise, you know, I really enjoy the game. It's fun, and I mean, I'm not like a huge Tolkien guy, so. I mean, the world isn't super interesting, it just kind of seems like a generic fantasy one with orcs and various other things. Some of the rules don't make sense, like the Wraith stuff, but I'm sure it's probably explained somewhere. So, lore and text, technology, etc. But the Nemesis system was pretty cool, and for the longest time, I thought that that would be the new thing that games would start doing you know kind of like the battle royale trend is like the nemesis system you gotta fight your way to the top and you get to you know take control of captains and things like that and just random games where it might be applicable but so far don't think that's the case so i'm glad because they kept coming back and after a while it just kind of seemed uh like it didn't feel good fighting them. It was just like, all right, here we go, another freaking captain to take care of. But overall, uh, I did enjoy playing. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. It was just one of those things I literally was scrolling down my games list, and I was just like, uh, you know, let's try it out. Let's let's record it. And uh, I sat there for three and a half hours the first time I sat down, and I was like, okay, all right, we'll we'll do this. We'll do the whole thing. And um, yeah, that's usually what I'm trying to look for when I make these videos is just, you know, if I'm having fun with it, then I'll go through with it. And this one, it's good. Even up to this point, I had a lot of fun and I'm still considering going forward with more. But at this point, we're in the mid 50s in episodes and I've got maybe 27 of, of, uh, 27 of them. Uh, scheduled to go up. Spider-Man's still going and I knew I wasn't going to get to the end of that project without finishing another one first because I do record quite a lot in bulk and um, it's just kind of how I get these done sometimes but some of the other games like Wind Waker that I still need to finish I just want to be able to sit down and do them right you know this one didn't really require a whole lot of editing I literally just play more of this just while I'm making sure that all the audio files are fine because I have to manually go in and make sure when I'm confronted by a captain or there's a cutscene that I, you know, adjust the volume and, you know, mute my volume because apparently that's something that I've struggled with in the past. I was looking at some, like, older comments for some reason and someone mentioned in Skyward Sword that I left my mic on during the cutscenes and you could like hear like rustling and I guess music or something. I don't remember listening to music while playing Skyward Sword, but apparently I was that bored of that game. But 
Anyways, uh, we can skip the credits. So I think we will. I don't think there's any reason to see them. They put in a lot of hard work, and I appreciate it. But we completed the mission. Uh, life is good. Congratulations, you have defeated the Black Hand of Sauron and driven Sauron back to the ruins of Brodur. However, the Dark Lord's shadow remains. Hold back the rising tide of his army. We continue to hunt captains and war chefs. Cool. Um, well, we pretty much did that. Um, and we, I think, leveled up. But there really is nothing left for us. None of our war chiefs died. Um, thank goodness, I, I guess. And what should we upgrade? The final thing. Let's do this one. Let's do the Brace of Daggers. Why not? And, uh, yeah, 97.9%. I told you guys I wasn't going to finish the game, and uh, I was right. So, yeah, I mean, just while the video exports, I might go around and do some of these challenges and just finish them off. I'm sure it would be quick enough. i just sit here and do that anyways. But, ladies and gentlemen... My name is Allison Cruz. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, like I said, I had a lot of fun. Ori is on the armrest next to me. He's just sitting, staring at me, wondering when I'm going to uh, do business. Hey, can you not scratch the couch, please? Oh, did you guys not hear the news? I killed the Dark Lord's black hand. Um, I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but thank you guys anyways. Um, so yeah, overall... It's fun. Liked it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I I think at this point I've there is another project going up. As a matter of fact, that one might actually already be done because I'm going to record that soon. I haven't started it, but I have a feeling it will be done by the time you guys see this. That being Mario and Rabbids, <laughs> which is weird to say because I haven't I haven't started it yet. But it's going to be done by the time this goes up, depending on if I do daily videos. But again, that's another game that is really easy to just sit down and play. Also, someone's yelling ranger at me like they're a captain. I don't see no freaking captains around here. There will be no final deaths. Except for those men. And you? How dare you? How dare you? Ooh, that was a quick uh, execution. Lovely. Uh, but yeah, that concludes our time in Middle Earth. If you guys want to see Shadow of War, um, I have not seen anything on that, but I heard it was real good. It was a, a very good... Uh, kind of follow up to this although the whole uh, controversy with the uh, the microtransactions which I think I mentioned is really stupid I don't understand why people freak out about something that's so inconsequential to the game sure if you want to throw in a couple extra dollars to you know finish things I'm not sure in what context they're used then go for it I don't care I'm not gonna spend a dollar so that I can corrupt a captain or something if that's what it's even for, but I don't know. The whole outrage with it is dumb. And it's dumb that developers have to do it, essentially, on behest of publishers and things like that. And there's a whole ideological fallacy that goes with it. I know the whole Battlefront 2 thing got kind of fucked over because of microtransactions and people freaking out and whatever. People are entitled to it. Sure, whatever. It just sucks that that is the state that games have become that they're more of a service now than you know than just a standalone game which is weird i don't know but um that's not really something i want to get into because this just you know talking on the subject that i haven't rehearsed i literally just said it for some reason it's real dumb so um without further ado let's end the goddamn video my name is Austin cruz and I'll see you guys next time. Also, why? How did I run an elf shot so fast? I don't know what happened, but I'm done. Let's leave. <laughs>